It was dark outside. Everyone was asleep. Pino was all alone in the street. <gasps> the others will see how they do without me. The little boy will also see what taking that awful thing to bed will bring him. That eternal noise will get on his nerves. But then there won't be Pino there anymore when he can't sleep or is afraid of the dark. Yes, that's just how it'll be. From thinking so hard and trying to build up his courage, he hadn't noticed where he was going. He kept going deeper into the city. Get ready to rumble! Don't push me. I'm sorry. Boom, bada boom, boom, boom! <laughs> oh, that's mean to throw away a banana peel like that. Hey, look, Mumph, giggled Mum. I think he's just right for us, from the look of him. He should have landed here ages ago. Shall we snatch him, asked Mumph. Pino stared in shock. Stop it! I've done nothing to you! The streetlight leaned forward curiously to see what was happening. Do you want to get him or I? Mumph asked her brother. As much as I hate to say so, I'd love to have him. But I'm only allowed to take recyclable garbage, and this one could definitely not be used again. He belongs to you, sister, said Month, generously. Okay, then, come along, little one, up into the garbage can and off to the garbage disposal, laughed Month. Now, don't carry on like that. It's very comfortable up here with us, tempted Month. And it smells delightful. <laughs> Pino grew paralyzed with shock as he heard the garbage cans talking. Now, the rats were also coming closer, while considering whether to start nibbling at him at once or to play a bit of cat and mouse with him. The streetlight took pity on poor Pino. Hurry up, little one, before the rats get their teeth and stuck into you, she called to him. Pino woke from his paralyzed fear and up and ran as fast as his legs would carry him. In his fright, he forgot his bundle. <laughs> He ran and on and on without turning around till his legs couldn't carry him anymore. Gee whiz, where have I landed up, he sobbed and looked around him. <laughs> they were all right. I really do belong in the garbage. Pino was afraid because he'd left his bundle behind. He had nothing to eat or drink and his stomach's growling got louder and louder, which made things even worse. I want to go home. I want to go back to Cuddly and Pronto and Rolio and Charlie Chip and Jumping Jack. Desperate, he fell onto an old and dilapidated couch that had been put out. If I'd only stayed home, even if the little boy didn't love me as much as before. But the others could still love me. He slowly cried himself to sleep. <laughs> 